you know, when a person has advanced cancer, why do they have advanced cancer? Because their own immune system is not effective at stopping it. Everybody has an immune system. Mm -hmm. Why isn't it working? Because cancer has found ways to overwhelm the immune system. So we need to find a way to turn up the immune system to do a more effective job. Cuando vine eh, con el doctor Slavin a ver el resultado de aquella operación de la eh, próstata que se hizo, de cáncer de próstata que se hizo con la robótica, eh, me encontré en una clínica tremendamente moderna, eh, donde desde el registro, desde el empiezo, eh, usted eh, llega, pas, presenta una tarjeta y toda la información ya está eh, validada en sus computadoras y de ahí entra en una serie de laboratorios y de eh, tecnología, los resultados o, o, o el cuestionario se hace en una computadora, en un iPad, eh, con pantallas gigantes. Es lo más moderno que he visto en eh, un consultorio. Pero aquí eh, han desarrollado, eh, el doctor Slavin ha desarrollado una vacuna con un grupo de eh, investigadores y laboratorios eh, para acabar con el cáncer para disminuir o reducir completamente el cáncer eh, de próstata. Y le pedí que me explicara, porque es muy novedoso, cómo han sido los resultados. Eh, van en diferentes fases clínicas. Y, eh, Dr. Slavin, thank you very much. And uh, really, I'm impressed with the results of this uh, vaccine. Well, first of all, Eddie, thank you so much for visiting our clinic here. Uh, it's been delightful uh, spending the morning with you in surgery. And as we talked uh, in surgery, uh, when prostate cancer is caught early, uh, men have lots of options, including robotic surgery, and, men, and most of the time we cure them. But for many, many men, uh, cancer is caught too late, either because they didn't get checkups or for whatever reason, or they have a more advanced form. And um, once the cancer spreads, uh, is the current treatments we have available are not, not as uh, good at, at curing cancer. And so we, we've been working very hard for almost a decade now looking to develop advanced therapies using technologies that were uh, developed here in the Texas Medical Center. And in 2001, 2002, I started working on this technology that allows one to activate the immune system to attack cancer. And I was astounded to to learn in our, in our studies that we could cure advanced cancer in mice using this technology. Um, and, and so then at that time it became my passion to try this in human beings. So you ask, you know, is this available? Can, is this, this, well actually, we've actually treated 18 men so far and with this new technology, and I'll, I'll take you through it just mm -hmm. to show you some of the results. Um, normally, uh, these two types of cells interact in the lymph node to, to stimulate an immune response. This blue cell mm -hmm. is called CD4 cell, and this cell is called a dendritic cell. And if you look magnified, what happens when these two cells touch, the CD4 cell docks with the dendritic cell, and it has like a three proteins together on the surface, and it gathers these up. It's called trimerization, and when they come together, it creates a signal. Mm -hmm. The signal is the on and off switch for the immune system. Okay. When the signal's turned on, the immune system's turned on. When the signal's turned off, the immune system's turned off. Unfortunately, with cancer, we need a very strong response. So we have to remove the negative side of the balance. And so using a drug, using a drug we create the same switch. Only this time, the switch is turned on and it stays on. And it can stay on for hours or days. Mm -hmm. So it's much more powerful. Once the signal's on, the immune system's turned on, and it says, okay, we're going to go attack cancer. While in nature, it goes on and off, on and right. off. It doesn't stay on. 